Hello everybody, um, Yannick here and uh, I'm just trying something new today. Um, I want to try to start a little series and uh, yeah, like the, the title, the idea of the title of the, this series is like uh, Wildlife Diaries and uh, yeah, I'm taking you with me with my journey of wildlife photography and uh, yeah, that's all about and today I'm going to set up a camera trap to do some research. I also have some trail cams I want to set up and yeah, that's quite all about it and I'm gonna take you with me and uh, explaining you some new things and everything and that's the idea behind it. Very nice encounter with some uh, long-eared owls and uh, yeah, so that was pretty awesome and uh, yeah, now the time for the deer, for photography of the deer has come so maybe we are lucky and we'll see some uh, in a few minutes when I get at the location. But yeah, but main priority for today is to set up the camera trap and to get everything working before it gets dark because we're literally very late in the day so I really hope I don't have to set up the camera trap in daylight And uh, before we got on location, I just want to take a look and see if there are any deer or something. And uh, then I can take you with me and we can do it together because that's quite new everything for me. So with the vlogging and so, and I don't want to stress the animals. So yeah, but we're almost there and I'm going to check it out. And if there are any road deer or something, I just let them go and then we do the part for the researching. Uh, it doesn't look like that as there are any deer or something, any else. So uh, yeah, we can get everything up and uh, I'm on the place now. And uh, now I will check the situation, set up everything and make as little noise as possible. So because I know there is a fox around um, all day, so almost all day they have the den here in the region and uh, I don't want to be too loud and uh, yeah, so I get through the location and then I show you what I'm doing. So I am at the location right now and uh, I'm gonna set up everything. 
So this is the scenery and uh, the idea of all this is um, that the fox comes regularly here and he's playing over here in the, on the wood and walking over here and also some pine martens. What I want to try to do now is uh, setting up the camera, the flashes, everything and then um, I let the camera trap here for a week and uh, maybe I really hope that the fox comes this way in a week and uh, I hope that we have the shots then. So fingers crossed and uh, yeah I'm gonna start to make the setup. Now that it gets darker and darker, um, I gonna film with my phone. <laughs> That's pretty sad, and the iPhone is better, has a better uh, image quality than, uh, yeah, my nice uh, underwater Lumix. Um, yeah, so I got everything set up, and uh, yeah, looks like this. Here's the camera trap. We have one flash right here. We have the camera trap here pointing into this direction. The stick is where the animal should go by and the motion sensor is something somewhere over here. And I got a second flash in the back of this uh, wood. So we get a nice backlighting. Um, so far the idea, but we will see so last check before I leave it uh, is to check the motion sensor if the connectivity is all right and we were gonna check that now so check and nothing yet now so now that everything works I have to set up the small camera traps the tri cams and uh, because I want to find out where the animals are going, uh, if we have the deer here, we also should have some weasels here. I've never seen a weasel in the wild, so fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, so let's do this now. <laughs> So, uh, it's almost too dark now, so I'm just gonna set up the other tri cams and then I'll go because uh, now the time comes where the fox and the deer come here to sleep and to rest and I don't wanna annoy them more than I do, so uh, yeah. So I'm trying to improvise a bit. Um, everything is set up and uh, now I am going 
to uh, back to the car and we will see in a week if we got anything good evening guys uh, yeah after one week uh, I go out now and go and check the camera trap and uh, yeah that's all about it now it's pretty dark uh, I came home very late and uh, yeah but I still wanted to check out the camera trap and uh, look for all the scouting and everything so yeah So everything's still here, which is very nice. And uh, yeah, I really hope. Let's see if the motion sensor is still working. Yes, it's still working. That's very nice. So now it's all about the getting up everything. I have another project um, what I am yeah need the flashes for and uh, so I take them home I leave the case here for a week or so and then uh, yeah we will see maybe in two weeks or something I will be able to uh, set it up again and then maybe we will have some results I don't know if, if there are any images on now I just gonna Take it off now and uh, yeah, we will see it later. So guys, as far as I can see it, and I mean I'm not a professional in this, but it looks like we had a wildcat, a European wildcat on the camera, and I did not even dream about that. I mean, I, I actually took images of the European wildcat in Switzerland, but uh, not here in a garden. I know that here is a wildcat supposed to be from the landowners somewhere on this hill but I never thought of a wildcat um, being here and on the camera trap so this is really really nice uh, but first I need to send a image of the uh, wildcat to my friend uh, Lars uh, he's a really professional in this topic wildcat and uh, yeah, I want to send the images to him and see what he says. Maybe it's just a normal house cat, just with the look of a phenotypical white cat. White cat. But uh, yeah, that would be so awesome. We also have a shot of a deer that looks very nice and one pine marten, which is also pretty awesome. So for first time, for one week, it's perfect. I'm pretty happy with the results.
So guys, that was it with the first episode of Diaries of a Wildlife Photographer. Please let me know what do you think about this format. Do you like the videos? And uh, if you have any ideas what I could do better, uh, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's all to say. I hope you stay tuned for the next episode. And until then, see you in the wild and until next time.